Alright, just went upstairs real quick and checked and looked at the schematic for the alternator and was able to determine that, yes, that is correct, this half of the diode uh, module here is supposed to be grounded so this screw does not have an insulator because this is what's grounding it. And then also of these three connections here on the regulator, the uh, connection here, which is closest to this spade terminal, is the one that's supposed to be grounded. So I know that this is the one that of my three screws I removed from this assembly, only one of them didn't have any insulation on it. So this is the one that's supposed to go here, but the resistor goes here over it like that. You see how it's corroded? That's not going to make a very good connection, so i got to clean that up. Alright, so now I've cleaned up that screw. So that screw is going to go right here to ground the voltage regulator and this whole circuit. And then we've got these two with insulators on them. And one of these is going to have to go here. Alright, so I've got these three screws tightened down. Uh, I'm going to push my drill bit through a little bit further just to make it a little easier for me to grab onto it on the back there. And now I can put the uh, armature in. <clears throat> so this is pretty self explanatory. This is going to go in each one of these connections is going to go over one of the studs in the diode pack. Alright. Like so. And now these three nuts get installed.
Yep, that's it. I'm going to start by hand tightening them. case which is ground and to this one and that should be grounded this one shouldn't be oh I'm on the diode check so I'm reading I don't know why I was getting a short down I'm reading this resistor right here so I could put this actually change the range sometimes the button on this meter acts up so between here and here, we should have virtually zero ohms. If I can get a good connection. Ah! Sometimes you're going to scratch the case to get a good connection. And I do. And then from here to here, I should read just the resistor, which is. 38 ohms, which is good. And from here to here, getting a short one. Oh, I wonder if it's because I wonder if it's because the drill is in there touching the brushes. What am I getting? Hey. What? No, thank you. Nope. seem like a very low resistance reading there, but it might be because I've got the drill bit in here across the brushes, shorting the two brushes together effectively. And one of the brushes is possibly grounded on this circuit. Uh, so, alright, i got my sticker here to tell me which way this goes. Just in case I want to make sure it goes in the same way. So I can lower this now right down in. That's what the third socket was for. That's why I had the third socket here on the bench. It's for this size. Mm -hmm. I should have just grabbed my nut driver this size, but yeah. Driver Steve. Stay. I can't find my nut driver. So just want to get this done. So improvising. Improvising. This regulator module is bad. I'm just going to be doing this again in a minute. Yeah. 
the ratchet's been giving me trouble. So I'm using this antique one I've got here, because it works. Shade tree mechanic at its best here. Not quite the right tools, but tools to get the job done just the same. Trying to beat the uh, sunset. <gasps> what the heck is this one? This should be quarter inch drive. What is this? Oh, this is 9.30 seconds. Hey, my quarter inch nut drive is missing. Oh, come on. Really? Let's go back to the slow way I was doing it, I guess. <clears throat> installed. <laughs> 